Hey guys, in this video we're going to do an experiment to see if this bladeless fans invented by Dyson, I believe, can be used in aerospace engineering. So can this be used like on a helicopter or a drone, you know, and produce more, tr more thrust than the individual propeller? Okay, so I got the weights here and I got this bladeless fan, right? So I got another one and I took this out of basically this casing. So what it does is it sits here and uh, it pushes air with this propeller through a narrow slit here, okay? So air comes out of this ring. And then uh, as you see a curvature of this uh, casing is such that it um, expands uh, towards this side and this means that the air uh, will have lower pressure here and in turn this means that a lot of air will be sucked in through this hole and actually Dyson claims that um, you know most of the air uh, coming uh, will be coming through from the outside and not from this slit it's only a little amount of air coming from this um, slit and this is actually true I mean if you turn this on and um, it, you know just feel the air and then close uh, this uh, uh, hole then uh, the air volume will be uh, very little uh, you can just tell this okay so I have this weight and with this we're going to measure the thrust of um, First, this propeller. It's exactly the same one. Okay, turn on the weights. Zero. This one weighs 52 grams. Let's turn this on. Maximum setting. And it weighs 57 grams. I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal that it you know wobbles around like this, but it weighs 57 grams. Okay, with a so it's a um, five grams of thrust. I can also measure, you know, how much thrust it gives by just turning on the propeller, max setting, and putting it right, right next to the weights itself. So it's seven. Okay, now let's measure this thing inside a case uh, with a bladeless fan technology. Okay. So it weighs 118. Now let's turn it on, on a max setting. Measure that. That's 120. With the propeller on. Now let's uh, measure uh, with the fan blowing on the uh, weights themselves. So that's two, also two. So I guess the energy conservation law hasn't uh, failed to uh, work this time. And uh, we see that, uh, you know, it's twice uh, less efficient to use the bladeless fan in terms of thrust than to use just a simple, simple propeller itself. I just wanted to show the casing. So the casing is really solid. There are no uh, slits or anything, no, no, no air coming out of uh, nowhere. So all energy basically is lost in this redirection of air.